none of these relate to each other and they're completely strange and odd. This one is called Avanti. <clears throat> this whole communication thing can be taxing on a girl. Uh, for instance, outdated men from the next state, outdated men a thousand miles away, outdated men in another country. And when you're not nearby, the tension runs high. Were you stabbed by a rival gang, bleeding out of that jacket you bought when we were together? Is your girlfriend, who calls herself your fiancé when there's no ring on her finger, who lives next to you in another country, is she going to call me screaming, telling me to stay away? I'm in another country. Really? Is this supposed to be a part of the life? Really? I know that man from another country gave me an emerald ring as a Christmas present. And later he had the gall to say that that ring was meant as more than a Christmas present. And I think my eyes had to turn to saucers when I guessed his intentions. Really, your communication skills are lacking. And like I said right then and there, you uh, don't you think for a second that there's a chance between two people from other countries with different social and intellectual tracks, because, you see, my track doesn't involve being in a gang. You may have been an interest when you were far away, and it may have been electric when we came together, but that may be all will ever be. Nothing's in common. Uh, this is called The Best Times of My Life. The best times of my life are not found on the pages of photo albums or scrapbooks. They are the events with the dates forgotten. These memories are never anticipated. They are the times when you tell me that you're there for me. They are the times when you show concern for me. They are the times when you let me know you care. Do you remember when you wrote a letter to me saying, if you need a friend, just call? Do you remember telling me when you were glad to be my friend? Do you, do you remember when I was feeling down and you gave me a hug? I remember those times. And although no pictures were taken, I put them in my album. <laughs> and there are no mementos I could place in a scrapbook. I remember those times. Those were the times when you made me feel special. And that is why those are the best times of my life. And last but not least, we have to end on the usual espresso theme that I seem to have all the time. So as it relates to death or depressing, something that's miserable, and that just seems to be my alley, I guess. Um, this is uh, because there's nothing to tell. <clears throat> this is how they kill me. And this is how they do it to me. They think there are so many different ways, and I suppose there are. There always seems to be a new and improved way. And this week, you found a new way with me. And this is how I die. I'm tired of being so much like you. And I'm tired of having so many differences with you. And I'm tired of seeing with each day which part of me has to die to keep things alive with us. You should know me by now. And you should know what I'm asking when I'm asking the question, don't you know me by now? So, thank you for pointing out that the answer is always no. And thank you for killing just another little part of me. People do that to me all the time anyway. You wonder what is wrong when I seem unhappy, and I tell you nothing, and I don't mean nothing. But I tell you nothing, because there's nothing to tell, because I'm almost dead anyway. I was just getting used to this whole me thing, and now there's this us thing, which really boils down to just a you thing, because hell, there's no me anymore. 
Isn't that what you wanted, anyway? People have been killing me all this time. And maybe they won. 